All right, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to the Entrepreneur Investor. And in today's video, I wanna talk about the Defiance ETFs, QQQY, JEPY, and IWMY. So we just got the news of their distributions for the month of February, and we'll all be getting paid out on the 6th of February. Today was declaration date, which was 1-31-2024, and the ex-dividend date is tomorrow, the first day of February in 2024. So I wanna show you guys my positions, how I'm doing with these ETFs, and what I think about the distributions that have been shown to us, and if I really think they're legitimate. So a few YouTubers that I follow and like to watch show you know daily transactions of of these ETFs. They really track them to the numbers, to every single trade that they do. And we saw that some of their trades, you know, lost money this month, and they really didn't show great distributions for the month. We don't see that in the distributions that they announced. So we're going to go over that. But let's take a look at my positions here. So this is my position in Robinhood for QQQY. And if my voice sounds a little bit different, I've been sick for the past few days. It's been terrible, but I've been able to pump out content for you guys because I recorded a few videos in advance. This here is my QQQY position, $19.14 average cost. And as you can see, the current share price is $17.80. And this is going to drop when the distribution is paid out to the investors, so on ex-dividend date. So I'm down 6.98% with price return in this portfolio here, $2,800. But if we go into my dividend portfolio tracker, you can see QQQY I have pulled up here, and this total return is 10%. And why is that? Well, market return, I'm down about 200 bucks. Total return, I'm up 300 bucks. And why is that? Because I've received some pretty nice dividends from QQQY so far. You could see in October, 110, 130 in November, December I got 139, and then the most recent one, which was in January, I got 139.50 again. So I got about the same as December. And then this month I'm going to get more because their distribution announcement was higher than last month's. So what does that mean really? So I'm actually up on this position. Well, basically the distributions are outweighing the share price decline as we've seen. So if we go into the past three months, you could really see the chart and how every single distribution, this ETF drops by that amount, tries its best to recover. They capture about 0.4% every single day that the market goes up higher than 0.4%. So say the market stays flat for the day, the market goes 0% gain. This ETF will be up by 0.25%. That's what it says in the prospectus. And I also have the prospectus pulled up and I want to show you guys some information that they show in there as well. You can see it recovers every single month basically to back where it was. Then boom, a big giant drop. And then it recovers again, you know, slightly under what it was the previous month and then it takes a big dip. When the market does eventually go down on a consistent basis, you know, maybe over a week or two or a month or two, these ETFs are going to get crushed. Times are good right now for these ETFs. So you really want to ask yourself when to either hold, you know, sell out of these or not reinvest dividends. You got to really understand what you're investing into because when times are good and the market keeps going up, these ETFs, you know, look great on paper. Like I said, I'm making great dividends and it's outweighing my share price decline because there's been very little share price decline. Like it's down only 6.98% in share price. When the markets do end up going down pretty substantially, these ETFs will be hurting. Then we have JEPY. This is one of my favorite ones out of the three because it's a little more diversified and not as much volatility. So you can see like this one doesn't go down as much in share price and the distributions are a little smaller so that helps with the nav decline you know the smaller the distribution the smaller the share price goes down and then they have more chance for them to recover so if we go into a three month chart here you can see it's about the same as qqqy but it does drop but not as much so i bought this a few months ago my average share cost was 1849 it had to be somewhere around here in november i think and i'm only down 1.74 percent on price return and then if we go into my dividend portfolio and we go into my dashboard here my positions you can see jepy including dividends i'm up 6.35 percent so i've made some pretty good dividends with jepy you can see 50 bucks 81 dollars and for total 2023 only two months i 
made 130-130. And then in 2024, first month, I made 64-76. And then my next one, my new position here, which is IWMY, I bought on last month's ex-dividend date. So I got a nice share price, but this has been dropping over the past month or two. And you can see I'm down 3.28% on price return. And this is going to drop by $1.29 tomorrow. You know, my total return here, just price return alone, it'll look pretty ugly after tomorrow, but I'm going to be getting a nice dividend. And then my plan for these defiance ETFs, and I've said this before in other videos, I'm going to let these ones ride. I have a good amount of money into them. So we're, I have 2,800, so let's round this up to 3,000. Then I have, you know, 2,500, we'll say. So we're sitting at 5,500 so far, and then add another 1,000 to that. So I have 6,500 plus or minus in these Defiance ETFs. I'm fine with that amount. You know, it's a good percentage of my portfolio. And what my plan is with these ETFs is to use the distributions that they're giving us and purchase higher quality ETFs. You know, I could either put them into yield max. I think this month my plan is to buy YMAX with these Defiance ETFs. So I'm going to take a look at the distribution days and so on and so forth. Maybe buy Y. I'm going to keep this distribution that I get from Defiance, hold it in cash for a little bit, wait until YMAX's ex-dividend date, and then invest in YMAX for the first time on the ex-dividend date so I get that lower share price. So we'll see what I'm going to do. Of course, I'll make videos on that. So let's take a look at the distributions that Defiance ETFs announced last night. I posted a community post, but didn't feel like making a quick video late at night when they announced these numbers. Distribution rate currently for QQQY is 56.49%. Distribution frequency, as we know, is monthly. What we're really interested in is the distributions. They announced that they're paying 85 cents per share, and that's getting paid out on the 6th of February. 2024. So the previous one was 62 cents. So this is a bump. Like I said before, a few YouTubers that follow these funds, you know, day to day know that they only made, you know, 40, 50 cents. I'm not sure. I didn't really watch the videos too closely this month. They've only made about 40, 50 cents and they're paying out 85 cents. So a lot of people are thinking, you know, what's going on with this? Why are they paying out 85 cents when they only made 50 cents? And then a lot of people are thinking, you know, this might be return of capital. And I do have the prospectus pulled up here. I was trying to dig into the prospectus a little bit. I really don't read too, too much into the prospectus. I read the summary prospectus, get a good idea of what the fund is about, and then decide to try it out. But what I have here, I want to just point this out because I've been saying this for a while. These funds are just going to go down in value over the long term. And that's fine if the dividends outweigh the decline. So that's what we've seen before so far. Since inception, these ETFs, the distributions have outweighed the share price decline. So I'm up on my position 10%, 6.35% on JEPY, and everything's fine. But when these ETFs do end up going down pretty substantially, things can get ugly. So nav erosion risk due to distributions. This is QQQY's prospectus. So when people say, oh, there's no nav erosion on these funds, it literally says it in the prospectus. So you, you can't really argue about nav erosion if it's in the prospectus and the fund managers, the people who represent the fund put this in the prospectus. If a fund makes a distribution, the fund nav will typically drop by the amount of the distribution on the related X dividend date. So like we saw before, QQQY's distribution is 85 cents. Tomorrow, Tomorrow, February 1st, this distribution, the share price is going to go down by 85 cents, plus or minus, depending on market conditions tomorrow. The repeated payment of distributions, monthly distributions in this case, if any, by a fund may significantly erode the fund's NAV and trading price over time. As a result, an investor may suffer significant losses to their investment. So if we take a look at price return for some other ETFs in this space, high dividend yield ETFs, what I can compare it to is QYLD and XYLD and RYLD. And these ETFs, they have gone down in share price, but they've had a pretty consistent dividend so far. The share price continues to go down. If you're fine with that, then investing in high yield ETFs is good for you because if you don't care if the dividends outweigh the share price decline then you should be fine 
over the long term. But you just have to know these things, that NAV erosion does exist, but that doesn't mean it is a bad thing if dividends outweigh the NAV erosion. I also wanted to go to the bottom of page 36. I'm going to scroll real quick and show you guys this. Like I said, a few people were complaining, bringing to my attention, they weren't complaining. Some of these distributions this month are return of capital. And if we read the prospectus, dividends and distribution, the fund intends to pay out dividends and interest income, if any, monthly, and distribute any net realized capital gains to its shareholders, at least annually. The fund will declare and pay income and capital gain distributions, if any, in cash. So, Capital gain distributions, what is that? Return of capital. In cash. Distributions in cash may be reinvested automatically. This is basically drip. Depends on what you want to do. And the rest doesn't really matter for this example. But so it says in the prospectus, if they have capital gains, they might distribute that, distribute that as distributions. Basically, return of capital. I think there's a difference between return on capital and return of capital. Not too sure, but... What, from what I've read in this prospectus, that they are distributing out some capital gains. So if we go into QQQY in the past month, you can see it's up 1.8%, 33 cents. Maybe they take some of this 33 cents that they received. So you can see it's actually up January 29th is when they would basically end this their cycle of trading. Let's see, January 31st. I'm not sure when they end it within these last few days. But you can see at one point it was up 70 cents for the month. And then they might take some of that 70 cents and put it into the distribution. Let me know in the comments down below if I'm right about this. I'm just going off of what I read in their prospectus and what I think, you know, they might be doing. Of course, I'm not as educated as some of the other YouTubers that do track these ETFs on a daily basis because they know more in depth. But I'm just showing you guys my perspective on things and how I can be invested in these ETFs, but also tell you guys that these ETFs will go down over time. So I like to show you both sides, like I've said before. IWMY, I am down so far. I think I already showed you that in my portfolio, but right here, down 3.72% because I haven't received a dividend yet. And then overall, you guys can find this link in the description down below. The dividend tracker, I love this platform. It shows me how much I'm going to make in January and my annual income projected. My current dividend yield is 34.42% and my yield on cost is 33.55% because I bought at some of the higher levels and I've seen these positions go down. But overall, my portfolio is very good good like you could see some of my biggest losers are tesla tslp coney and these very speculative stocks that i do have in here but i also like to make videos on these highly speculative etfs high dividend yield etfs over the long term i am a very focused growth investor dividend growth as well you can see like my best performers are high quality companies, but I wanted to dabble a little bit into some high yielding ETFs just to get my income up, figure out if these are worth investing into, and then I make videos on them just to show you guys, you know, the pros and cons of investing in these. Because my worst performer here is Tesla. You never know, maybe next year it'll be my best performer. That's why I like to make videos and document the journey with you guys. So let me know what you guys think of this video, QQQY, JEPY, and IWMY. Fake it till you make it? I don't know. They might be faking the dividends just to keep investors happy with holding on to these ETFs. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, please remember to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one.